Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos. If you want to follow along with today's tutorial, you'll need Snapseed, Facetune, and Photoshop. When you're editing your photo, it's all about making small adjustments. The goal is to have people look at your makeup and not any blemishes or skin texture issues that you may have had that day. I'm starting out with a photo that I took with my Canon 80D and then airdrop to myself. My next step is to crop it and make it a more manageable size so that I can zoom in and get close up on details and things that I'm going to enhance or fix. One of my favorite apps to use is Snapseed. It has a cool selection tool that allows you to edit certain areas of your face without affecting other areas. My first step is the structure tool. This is my favorite because it gets rid of skin textures, but use with caution because it can look really overdone very easily. Once you're done there, you can save the photo and then open it again in Facetune. Using your finger on the screen, you can smooth out any areas that you think need adjusted. Again, be sure to not overdo it. Another tool found in Facetune is the patch tool. This is similar to the spot healing brush tool in Photoshop. You can get rid of any unwanted blemishes simply by tapping on the area that you want to correct and then choosing a similar area to replace it. Probably my most favorite part of editing my makeup pictures is hiding the band from my false lashes. Using the Tones tool, you can choose black as your brush color and go over the areas that aren't as dark as you'd like them to be. Here you can see the before and after. Sometimes details can be lost in photos. Here's where the Details tool comes in. So I'm going to drag my finger over the sparkles to really make them pop. I'm liking the way the photo looks now, so I'm going to close it and open it again Snapseed for some final touches. Like I said before, one of my favorite tools in Snapseed is the Selective tool. This means you can click any area on the photo to alter. To really make my highlight pop, I'm going to click directly on the area and drag my finger to the right. This will up the brightness in that area. By pinching and expanding your fingers, you can change the size of the area that you're affecting. Once you get your highlight as bright as you'd like, you can move on to your brow bone. Again, here's a before and after. The final thing that I do in Snapseed is change my background color so that it matches my other photos. This can mean making it brighter or darker depending on how the picture turned out. I like all my photos to have a very cohesive look. So for this photo, I'm tilting it back so you can get the eyes and the lips. Whenever I upload this photo to Plano Lee, I can see that it's a little more cool toned and all my other photos are a little more warm. My final step is going to be to open this photo in Photoshop. Once I have it opened, I go to Image, Adjustments, and then Hue and Saturation. I pick a spot on my photo, which is my skin, that I want to change to make a little warmer, and then I increase the saturation to 10. Finally, here's my before and after. 